You know, on one hand, I, I couldn't agree with my colleagues' comments more in the sense that maybe we shouldn't be getting involved in contracts. But unfortunately, we've already done it. You know, we, we carved this out for the dentists a number of years ago because what was happening was a similar phenomenon where the insurance companies had so much bargaining power that they were putting things into their contract that said, you have to take massive discounts or charge much less on things that we don't cover. And that's what's happening now. In the vision plans, you can have a covered plan. And you go see your optometrist or your ophthalmologist. And when you show up, they, they do all your screening. But if they want to do reflect, reflect, excuse me, if they want to do extra testing, then, then that's not a covered service. And these contracts are forcing them into taking like two bucks for it. It's a 15 to $30 service, but they're forced to take two bucks for it. The bottom line is, you know, these, the companies really have them by the throat. And we've had the precedent of stepping in now, and we're doing it tonight by looking at this bill, and we're saying, all right, well, optometrists, we're going to give you some relief and let you not enter in that kind of contract. But to my colleague's point, it didn't cover ophthalmologists. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I have learned so much about this over the last few weeks going through here, but optometrists and ophthalmologists do the same service. When you show up to get your vision screening, they're doing the exact same thing. Now we're telling them, oh, well, we'll let the optometrist get more money, but we're going to carve out and not let the ophthalmologist play. And I think, I think that we talked about fairness tonight, and that makes no sense to me. How we can have a bill where we're going to carve out the optometrist and say, well, ophthalmologist, even though you do the same thing, you're not going to be part of it. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, the clerk is in possession of an amendment. It's a LCO 8239. Will the clerk please call the amendment? I'd be allowed to summarize. LCO number 8239, designated House Amendment Schedule A and offered by Representatives Srinivasan and Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we talk about fairness in here all the time. And I, I've said this before, oftentimes I feel like a referee because we get different groups coming to us asking for relief. And right now there are some pretty difficult times out there for our optometrists, ophthalmologists, and opticians, all of which who provide eye services for our constituents. Yet somehow, through the process, this has only made it to us with just the optometrist. So what this, op what this amendment does is it adds ophthalmologist and optician um, under the same language. And it's very simple. It makes it fair. Mr. Speaker, I move adoption.